can swipe the list. When you're done, you can hit the back button and you're back to your main application cool. screen. So the next app that I'll show you is a 3D gaming app. Uh, it's based on OpenGL, and OpenGL is hardware accelerated in our, Android, in our BlackBerry runtime. So here's, here's the 3D. You can, looks great. Nice movement. Awesome. So these, these apps you're showing, this, this really didn't take any code changes at all to get these apps up and running on the, on the playbook. No, no source code changes. You didn't even have to recompile your app. So it's strictly a repackaging exercise. Just a repackaging exercise. OK, so that's the second app that I want to show you. The third app is a media app, right? So you guys all like to watch movies and stuff. So here's all the movies. Well, the Wi-Fi connection is a little slow over here. Uh, but uh, that's very cool. And if you want to watch your... Uh, so is this picking up local information from, uh, from the GPS here? That's correct. Right. Providing local, local recommendations. So really integrated with the underlying platform. OK, so that's, that's all I'm going to show you for now for the apps. OK. Uh, now let me hand you over to Cameron, who will show you how you can use your existing Eclipse project that you have for Android here and retarget it towards label device. OK, excellent. Let's take a look, Cameron. Yeah, Chris, let me show you how easy it is to repackage an Android application. So here on the screen, we have uh, uh, the familiar Eclipse environment with Android ADT. Uh, this is the combination that you usually need for uh, any uh, yep, standard environment for Android developers. Oh, yeah. okay. And we have a project here, uh, API Demos, which is a sample project uh, that comes prepackaged with uh, Android SDK. Uh, and I actually have it here running uh, on the standard Android emulator. Mm -hmm. So nothing has been changed here. Yeah. Uh, unmodified sample. And Chris, to deploy this on a BlackBerry playbook, all we need to do is just just uh, add a BlackBerry nature to it. Again, pretty familiar concept. Absolutely. And again, you, you launch it the same way as you launch any other uh, Eclipse project. Okay. So here we have the uh, ADT plugin, Android ADT plugin, and the BlackBerry extension that's installed on Eclipse. And they call, uh, collaborate together. That's, that's why we see this kind of seamless experience. Mm -hmm. So we, this also has integration with all of the tools that will we'll take this, package it up, and get it delivered down onto the simulator uh, within the environment or onto the, onto the playbook. Absolutely, yes. And actually, let, while launching, let me put a breakpoint here. I just want to show you something. Uh, so, here we, here we have the application running. Yep. Oops, that is way there. <laughs> uh, but it's running in some way. Oh, foiled again by the demo gods. Okay. The point uh, we want to get across is, is you're using your existing Android tool, tools to build your applications and then you're retargeting that application towards uh, Playbook. Yeah, I think it's simple, simple repackaging step. As you say, many of these apps are coming across without, uh, without any code changes at all. This is, this is purely repackaging. So, so definitely encourage everybody to get out to App Express if you have APKs and you want to see them running on the Playbook and just see how easy it is to uh, work in this environment. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate you coming up. Thank you, Chris. Take care. Thanks, Chris. All right.